Turtles are fascinating animals. They can dive deep into the ocean. It may look violent when a turtle is eating on the reef, but it is helpful for the corals. The mushrooms and algae the turtles eat grow rapidly and can limit the growth of coral reefs, so it is good that the turtles go for it with good appetite. Turtles live largely throughout their lives in the ocean. Only when the female is to lay eggs, she returns to exactly the beach she herself has hatched to lay her eggs. Over the past several years, it has become more and more difficult for the turtles to find quiet places and peace so they can lay their eggs. Big hotels being built on many beaches do disturb the turtles. Where the big hotels are being built, the animals can no longer be left alone. Sanur Beach in Bali was previously a peaceful beach where the large sea turtles went ashore and laid their eggs. Today the turtles cannot rest to lay eggs on the beach because the tourism has taken the place. Locally though, the eggs are collected and the turtles are reared until they are large enough to be set free so they can return to the sea. Turismen er steget voldsomt igennem de senere år. Dels den almindelige generelle øget velstand, men også fordi Kina har åbnet grænserne, og pludselig er der en masse turister, der kommer derfra. Bare i Indonesien og Filippinerne, der er turismen tredoblet siden år 2000. And the tourism boom continues. Hotels, restaurants and other facilities are being built for tourists. But often the infrastructure is not geared to take care of necessary functions such as waste management, waste water treatment, which is therefore polluted, and sewage runs into the sea and pollutes the reefs. The growing of tourism is too rapid, I would say, because the increasing of the number of the visitors is too high and the people is not ready. And it creates, besides the opportunities, but it also creates many negative uh, impact, I would say. When the people doesn't understand about what's going to happen with their island in 10 years from now, uh, and the, the investor comes and then offer them like the money they never even think before, they just like sell the, the land and everything. What they don't understand is the next generation cannot afford to pay the, the, the land back. So it's, it's massively happened here. 60% of the strategic land is now owned by investors foreigner and Indonesian investor from Jakarta. The increasing tourism has also a direct physical impact on the reefs, with fishing, sailing, snorkeling and diving making damages to the reefs. Several places in the Coral Triangle have been declared as national parks, but it's not everyone there that is happy with the parks. For the national parks gives many limitations on where and what the local people can fish, and when a fisherman who may have worked hard to survey due to poor fishing, suddenly no longer has the right to fish where he and his ancestors have fished for many generations. Dari segi asas manfaat, orang-orang masyarakat di sini sebenarnya tidak terlalu senang dengan adanya Taman Nasional Komodo. Keluasan mereka untuk menangkap ikan itu bagus. Mereka masih leluasa, bebas. Uh. Ketika misalnya masuk Taman Sol Komodo, akhirnya banyak larangan-larangan dari Taman Sol Komodo yang kemudian membuat zona. The locals are often promised improvement in order to accept the new restrictions associated with the nature conservation. Rinca dan Pulau Komodo itu mendapatkan fasilitas tenaga listrik oleh pemerintah. Kalau Papa Garang tidak ada. If people say that they are not happy, of course. They expand the, the, the tourism side without the offer alternative solution. But there are also some who can see the benefits of nature conservation because it works as intended. Yeah, senang. Tidak ada orang bong ikan. Tidak ada orang potas ikan. Nelayan-nelayan yang suka ambilnya tidak ramah lingkungan sudah tidak ada. Karena patroli itu selalu dilakukan oleh Taman Nasional. Yeah. The pressure to the, to the park is very high, the destructive fishing, because we have also uh, part of the park that they allow for the sport fishing, 
and then the divers. Now our government also approach Chinese market. It's make even worse because the national park is uh, squeeze the fishing zone, expand the tourist tourism site, and without offer uh, the tangible program for the fishermen in the village that makes the the tents higher every day. And I think it's not really safe for the the park itself. Looking from the conservation uh, point of view, the the park cannot cannot sustain. In I would say in 2025, it's gonna be like 50% maybe will be destroyed.